I uh, started recording a video earlier for my 4ER unlock and um, my battery went dead. So we saved up, we skipped a bunch of stuff, gunboat energy, artillery, had a massive loss streak early on just getting chests. I went straight to the heavy chopper to troop health and troop damage and vice versa. No hero yet. No boom cannons. And did get a few extra cannons. Just wasted that. But <clears throat> we are saving up now for the shock launchers because we have to get them and honestly it's a good purchase it's something I would want and we're kicking butt we are kicking butt we lost to wonder kitty there and this player uh, a little bit and we just got our 15 chest not too long ago. But it is pretty tough. Now, of course, we get the shock launchers as soon as I say something about it. And don't have a buttload of GBE. So we got to be very careful with our shocks, our management of, and honestly I think it's going to be better to take these out. It will slow us way the crap down. gotta have <coughs> oh no shocks but we got a long run over here we're tied on the oh if we can get this one down pretty quick we'll be sitting all right 248 that is a very slow time I think he got us I've been finishing around the three minute mark hopefully we started before him yeah he he roasted us if I had left the shock launchers I might have beat him but I would start recording and then have a lose streak no shot launchers. Typically, I go from the right side and get two engine rooms. This one's a little different setup. I can get those first two pretty quick. And then I would have to fly down to this one and end up going here for the finish. I'm wondering if it'd be better starting on the left side might go one two three I think that's what we will do one two three four five six seven eight and he's cutting straight through our base let's take a little damage hit that shot drop some heavies and flare Boom, boom, boom. Hopefully they target my heavies and not my flying heavy choppers. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Flare. Almost perfect. Oh, we're taking some hits. Taking some hits. But we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Get ready for the final push now. A little late. 
I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna save up for another flare. We're about to lose heavy chopper. Drop that one. And around the three minute mark again. Drop a flare on his statue. I've seen a few Zuka attacks. And we gotta rewatch that one and see what what transpired here. A split attack. Interesting. He must have artillery. Yep. He softened it up with the artillery. I haven't unlocked the artillery. I'm kinda not wanting to do that on this account. Because I'm not worried about mines. I'm not worried about much of anything right now. Ugh, let me see. We are going to go left side first. I don't know if that's the right move or not. I do want to upgrade the gunboat. But we don't have a lot of need for it right now. All we have is flares and shocks. I could upgrade the shocks, but they don't help me destroy bases faster. Let's see if we can get... Nope, we can't get all three of those. One, two, three, four, go. Boom. Shock again. Three ten. It's gonna look like one of our faster times. I can't draw a sminus, I have no smoke. Three oh three. I'm glad to see there are players without shock launchers. That means they just unlocked this engine room, fourth engine room. Uh, this guy's flares are low level. The reason I wanted to go two four. ERs is because I was losing every other battle where I was at or I would lose two and win two which is very frustrating this one's easy there's very few defenses up here so we're gonna take those out first and our troops will not get wounded Let's see. Get ready for the flare. That way we can build up heavies for the final push. I'm worried about going to that bottom left, but we gotta make a choice quick, so we'll go bottom left first. Five, four, three, two, one, flare now, and then we're gonna shot these three. I don't think we're gonna lose any choppers. That is a lot of heavies, guys. That is a massive amount of heavies. Legendary player right there. I'm kinda glad we get to keep our legendary statue. We don't have to get a new statue every week. Split attacks again. Very, very interesting. So let's slow that down.
slow that down a little bit. This one again will hit the right side. Flare here. But this is it. Heavy choppers. There's no real skill involved. You just flare. Flare and shot. Flare and shot. Flare and shot. So he just started. I'm 20 seconds in. And flare. The timing on those flares is very important. I don't have any artillery to finish them off with. And I'm just glad we have a few shocks. There, five, four, three, two, one, go, 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 go. And then we're going to have to shock these boom cannons. And get ready for a flare in case we lose a chopper. We don't think we will one 30 seconds I mean three minutes he is going through our base pretty fast with artillery again losing to artillery we were losing at three engine rooms to artillery and now we're losing at four engine rooms to artillery so maybe if I had went straight to this engine room sooner, I would be in better shape. But we only lost eight stars. I hate this star system. actually preferred the one star per win instead of eight, ten, nine, fifteen stars. It's a little bit confusing. I'm not gonna lie. Annoying more than anything. I would like to get a few more chests so I can maybe get brick to speed up my attacks. What I really need is some more 2 ERs. I'm still hitting 2 ERs. This should go pretty quick. But still, it'll be about the 3 minute mark. Maybe I should have done a split attack because those engine rooms are so... sparsely... Guarded. Ready, set, go now. And we're in a dead heat. Two engine rooms to two engine rooms. And here we go, here we go, here we go. Now. And he just lost one. Or I just lost one. Come on. And we lost that one at the same time. I th max troop health, max troop damage. There's not much else I can do to speed that up. I should have gone for the split attack. I think I could have beat him. I just don't understand why he's two seconds faster than me. Thank you. 
Let's try this split attack. Nope, not gonna happen. So it's pretty annoying. Just flare, flare, flare. That's all. Season one or two, we were able to use warriors. Then we had bombardiers. Then we had seekers. These flying troops suck balls. That's just my opinion. Boom, 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 flare. And then we will need to shock some boom cannons here. Hopefully we don't lose any. Let's reflare. Medkit make them a 304. I don't know what I did differently than the other attacks, but... All these engine rooms seem to be in the same place. There we go, 11 stars. Wow. We need... 46... stars to get the next chest. I really wish I could show off some skill in my attacks, but all we have are these stinking choppas. So we're going to try this. Try the split attack. It works for some people, for some bases. Maybe it'll work for us. Maybe not. I need artillery, it seems like. Here we go, final push, get ready for the flare. Three minutes. Two fifty nine. It's almost faster flying all the way around the world <laughs> than it is doing these split attacks. And he artilleried me. Surprise, surprise. That's why I had these kind of spread out. For split attacks, they can't flare directly to an ER when you're on two sides of the map. And we're going to have to fly around the world on this one. Let's get in there. Take a few shots from these guys. Before we shock them. Get ready for the flare. See where troop damage will help to kill heavies and choppers, but not so much on the uh, choppers, really. Here we go, flare. 
got a bunch of heavies out front that'll keep the choppers alive. Finished at the same time. Very annoying, very annoying. I would like to send in different troop types and maybe some cryo rifle heavy zookas or something, bombardiers, but so far it's boring, boring, boring. Thanks for watching guys, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and share, try to head out.